Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I am your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. And that's the way it is with the Vatican these days, especially with our Pope, Francis, who is the false prophet. He also disguises himself as an angel of light. And he will be visiting Philadelphia in September at the World Meeting of Families. And this is the logo which the Vatican is promoting to announce the Pope's visit to the United States. And at first glance, you might think that this was a family logo promoting a normal marriage between a man and a woman. However, there is a hidden agenda in this logo to promote the gay agenda. That's because this image actually shows two men and their relationship is a sexual one and not one of holy matrimony. So let's take a closer look at this image and you will see that the two figures are actually in a masculine shape. They are wider at the shoulders, the upper part of the body, and they taper down, just like a man. Secondly, there is no indication that the figure on the left is a woman, even though it is shorter than the man. And if you look at ordinary logos of men and women, for example, in outdoor public restrooms, you will see that the female always wears a dress, and that's to distinguish the female from the male. However, in the Vatican logo, there is no distinguishing between the male and the female. In fact, they are both male, and also the two children on either side. What are they? Are they boys or girls? There is no way to tell. They are indistinguishable. And in fact, as I said, they are wider at the top, they taper to the bottom, and therefore they also are males. In fact, all the figures in this logo are male. And of course the reason is because, as I said, Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. And in these end times, he is going to be able to fool even the elect. But if we take a little closer look at this image, we will find that there are actually seven figures in this logo, and they are all male. Now, as I studied this Vatican logo, which I have placed on the right in this image, I discovered that there were three additional figures, much larger than the four obvious figures. And I drew the lines in, and I connected the pieces, and I shaded the areas so that you can see these three hidden figures are much larger and much more dominant in this logo. And they are all various heights. In fact, all seven figures in this logo, the three hidden ones and the four obvious ones, all have different heights. If we take a closer look at those three hidden figures, we will find that is the Rosetta Stone to understanding the sinister message in this logo. First of all, those three figures are obviously male. They are wider at the top, they taper to the bottom, just like the previous four images we see on the right-hand side in the official logo. Secondly, they are all different heights. In other words, in the original logo, you might have assumed that that figure on the left is a woman because she is shorter than the figure on the right. This Rosetta Stone on the left shows you that Height is not a way to distinguish male from female in this logo. They are all males. Secondly, you might have thought that in the logo on the right, the figure on the left is female because it's leaning backwards in a submissive position. The figure on the right is leaning forward in an aggressive male position. However, on the figure on the left, the logo on the left, where we see the three hidden figures, for example, the figure on the right, is it leaning forward, that is facing to the right, 
or is it leaning backwards facing to the left? You cannot tell. You cannot tell in which direction these figures are facing. You cannot tell whether they are leaning forward or backwards. In other words, that female figure in the original logo, the shorter figure, could be leaning forward facing to the left, or it could be leaning backwards facing to the right towards the male figure. The fact is, we cannot tell if these are males or females from their body position. It is only their body shape. And that tells us that all seven figures in this logo, the four obvious ones and the three hidden ones, they are all male. So now, let's go back and look at the real meaning of the Vatican logo. Since the three hidden figures, the Rosetta Stone to this logo, have proved to us that those two figures in the center must both be male, then what is that between them? Is that a baby? Well, obviously, no, it can't be a baby. That is, in fact, a hidden phallic symbol. And that shorter figure, that is not facing towards the figure to the right, it is facing to the left. What we are seeing here is an image of gay marriage and, in fact, gay sex. Here is where Satan is hiding himself as an angel of light. You look at that image and you think it is a family image. It is not. It is a satanic logo promoting gay marriage. And that is what we are getting from the Vatican these days because it is being trodden under by the Gentiles as prophesied by St. John way back in Revelation chapter 11 verse number 2. And the holy city will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles for 42 months. In conclusion, I want to thank Philip F., one of my subscribers, for alerting me to this perversion-promoting logo from the Vatican. And I guess it's been around since last fall, although he just made me aware of it in the last couple of days. And I want to emphasize, I am not happy at exposing the Antichrist taken over Vatican. Incidentally, that phallic symbol also symbolizes the little horn in Daniel. Now, as I said, I'm not happy about this because I am a practicing Roman Catholic. But I know that all of us Catholics will have to flee the green field, as Jesus said in Matthew. And we cannot take our cloaks with us and we must flee into the desert, where Mary will protect us with her rosary and her scapular. And if you'd like more information about my ministry here on YouTube, visit my thirdeaglemedia.com website.